Finally, when he did his operation, the patient Louis Washkinsky passed away just because he didn't receive right medication. That is when the words in that proverb comes true. You do the half and Lord will do the half. Louis Joshua Washkinsky was a South African man who was the recipient of world's first human-to-human -human heart transplant and the first patient to regain consciousness following the operation. Yes, that is more important. Washkinsky lived for 18 days and was able to speak with his wife and reporters post-operation. Sadly, he passed away on 21st December 1967. The year is important. Washkinsky was the second human recipient of a heart transplant overall, in that James Hardy had done a transplant in 1964, that is four years before Louis Washkinsky received his heart, in which Boyd Rush received a chimpanzee's heart, although the patient in that case only survived an hour and did not regain consciousness post-operation. Surgeon Christian Bernard who trained at the University of Cape Town and in United States performed this revolutionary medical operation. After Washington's surgery, he was given drugs to surpass his immune system and keep his body from rejecting the heart. These drugs also left him susceptible to sickness. However, after 18 days, he died from double pneumonia. Despite the setback, Washington's new heart had functioned normally until his death. In the 1970s, the development of better anti-rejection drugs made transplantation more viable. Dr. Bernard continued to perform heart transplant operations and by the late 1970s, many of his patients were leaving up till five years with the new heart successful heart transplantation surgery continues to be performed today. This surgery, which was earlier considered to be impossible, is now at least considerably less dangerous in this present era. Worldwide, the overall survival rate is about 90% after one year and about 80% after five years for adults. Is there any life lesson we can learn from this story that history has left for us? Yes. History has always made us believe that something new can always be introduced to this world when a new problem rises. Probably people from the first century or even before that never knew anything, probably anything about cardiac problems. And even if they knew, the knowledge was too fragile to rest our expectations on. But when human beings started getting greater knowledge, as it is said, quote, Spider-Man, with great power come greater responsibility. People who found them responsible in this area started working on it. Things that appeared impossible turned into feasible, achievable tasks. Does this happen to you? The problem makes you feel bad? Yes, that is the truth. But if you focus on finding the solution, even the impossible will be turned into possible. But wait, do you turn yourself up to achieve anything and everything? The only criteria for achieving something in life should be, it should be morally good and legally acceptable. If negativity is what you're trying to achieve, then a big no. You are definitely on a wrong track. Be surgeon Christian Bernard of your own life. He trained himself from the best place. He worked on it. But didn't he had problems after doing all this good work? Yes, he had. Finally, when he did his operation, the patient Louis Washkinsky passed away just because he didn't receive right medication. That is when the words in that proverb comes true. You do the half and Lord will do the half. The new medications were introduced in 70s that made him achieve his success. Train yourself with the right knowledge, from the right place, for the right thing to be achieved. You will bless yourself and others around you.